Hey Pisces, let's go ahead and see what's coming out for you guys with this full moon in Aries headed our way. For Pisces, what's coming up for Pisces? So we're going to do different areas for you, home, partnership, career, or public life, okay? So what changes are coming for Pisces with this Aries full moon? What's happening? What should they look forward to? Oh, that too. Okay, karma and five of pentacles. Sorry. What about at home? What should they expect? Why are we getting to... <laughs> Okay. I was trying to make these videos short, and now I'm like, oh, Lord. Okay, what about in partnership? What should they expect in partnership? What should Pisces expect in partnership? Knight of Wands. All right. What about public life or career? Oh, boy. And last but not least, Nine of Cups. So Pisces, um, this is actually a Pisces Jupiter card. So I feel like overall you're going to be a, in a strong state of faith, hope, optimism. Almost denial. Maybe not wanting to let something go, not wanting to move on. Oof. I feel like something may be over and maybe it's difficult for you to accept or to... Yeah, that's really the strongest one I'm getting. Um, so in your energy, we've got the Karma and Five of Pentacles. This could be the energy of trying to revive something within you because you you may feel like isolated abandoned lonely we'll clarify in a little bit what's what's happening there at home we've got the ace of swords six of pentacles so this is very much the energy of but see this is clarity Clarity is being given to you. This is a Taurus moon card. So there's generosity here as well. I don't know why this would come into play or this. But seven of wands, I mean, seven of wands, nine of wands is in partnership. So you may be connected to somebody that has Aries, Leo, Sag. The thing about nine of wands energy is that this is somebody who is very passionate, but if we're being clear about who the Knight of Wands is in relationships, this is somebody who's here for a good time, not a long time. Nine of Swords. In your public life or in your um, career, I think that you are very stressed out right now. Now we're going to go ahead and clarify and see what is happening, why you would be stressed, but you're definitely, you know, overthinking. Let's look at the Nine of Cups. Clarify Nine of Cups. We get the Four of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's too many. So I'm just taking the top one. Knight of Pentacles. With the Six of Cups. So we do have a soulmate connection here. Okay, so interestingly enough, I'm seeing a soulmate connection coming in. It's coming in pretty quick, but you're not open to it. You're like, no, 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 because something else that may be ending, <sighs> something else may be ending, but you're very confused. Maybe you didn't get closure. Maybe you didn't get clarity on why it ended. And you're convinced that you just need to work harder to bring it back. Like you're not letting go of hope. So that could be why Nine of Cups. You're just like, it's okay. It'll, it'll come back together. So you're resting. You're doing self-care. You're, you're waiting. You're waiting for your soulmate to come back. Waiting for your person to come back. Huh. 
Let's look at the karma card, which is also the judgment card. Clarify judgment or karma. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. One more. Clarify karma. And judgment. There we go. Oh, I forgot. Let's clarify that five of um, pentacles. Clarify five of pentacles. Clarify five of pentacles. Okay, so either this is some sort of decision or you're making plans. Like I said, you may be making plans to reconnect with somebody because right now you're away from them, but you're not letting go of of faith yeah you're being really optimistic you're being really optimistic about your soulmate but they'll be back in fact you have this this hope two times it came out karma and judgment you feel like you've known this person in many lifetimes like there's going to be a uh, reconnection of there's going to be a reconnection between you two. I don't know if it ended already or if it's going to end. And this is just the energy you stay in. But you definitely feel like you just can't move forward. You've put in too much time and energy into this and you're just not going to move forward. You're just going to wait. You're going to stay loyal to this person, even if it means you stay alone. I don't know. Well, that's up to you. Seven of Cups, like you keep daydreaming you or dreaming. Like it could be both. Your intuition and your dreams tell you this person's coming back. So you're holding on. You're not letting go. Because you keep telling yourself that this is going to happen. And you know this is going to happen. Let's look at the Ace of Swords. Because this is... Let's see what this person is telling you, because I feel like they're being clear with the Ace of Swords like that. Clarify Ace of Swords. Three of Cups, Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups. Clarify Six of Pentacles. Clarify Six of Pentacles. Well, this is interesting. We've got three queens now. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. This could be a... This could be a same-sex situation. There could be even three women involved. Or this could just be a third party. Maybe one, one person has a lot of feminine energy. So they may have told you because Ace of Swords is communication or this is what you told them. Either they told you to wait for them. They told you that this would be fixed, that they do have love for you. Or you told them that you're going to wait because you know that they're going to come back and offer love because they love you. And you love them. There, somebody communicated that with the Ace of Swords. Now, let's look at Six of Pentacles. <sighs> I feel like there's a lot of, again, stress. 
Nine of Swords has come out twice. Of course, this is home and, and career or home and public life are connected. There's a lot of stress here. There's a lot of tension, overthinking. I feel like there's been a lot of fights. And somebody's walking away. Could be this Queen of Wands. I think the Queen of Wands is walking away. This could be... Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. Let's clarify Knight of Wands. Let's see what's happening there because, yeah, there is an ending. Somebody's walking away, but you're holding on to like, they'll, they'll be back. They'll be back. Clarify Knight of Wands. Let's see why. Maybe this is explain why you have hope they'll be back. Clarify Knight of Wands. then this is this is a little bizarre i'm saying bizarre because we had three different types of queens show up now we've got three different types of masculine showing up queen of pentacles matches the king of pentacles but the queen of cups is alone emotions only on one side if this is the person that you're dealing with, you're showing up committed, even if you feel lonely. You're showing up dreaming and having this, you're waiting for this person. You love this person. Even if they stress you out, they walked away, you're still waiting for this person. There's earth energy here, air energy here, Aries energy here. Almost like the, maybe this person feels like you betrayed them or they betrayed you. I'm not really sure what's happening here, but oh, there's a lot going on here. So you feel like this is just who they appear to be. You feel like this is who they really are. They've just been hurt. That's what you're, I feel like you're trying to excuse their behavior. Let me put it that way. You really are trying to excuse their behavior. Because they're coming off as someone who's not taking you seriously. And you're like, no, I know that they do take me seriously, though. We have a solid connection. Or maybe they're self-sabotaging. You know this. And you know that ultimately they just need to work on themselves. Or... Somebody used to put in 10 of pentacles and now they're down to eight. They're little by little putting less and less into this connection. It's a general reading, so it can apply many different ways, but there's a lot going on here. This is the king of commitment, but it's like there's, there's a lot before you get commitment from this person. They may be going through a lot right now and they're just not in the mindset for commitment. Let's look at the Nine of Swords. And maybe you know that, and that's why you're willing to wait. Because look, there you go. You're in the energy of hope and, and wishing and waiting. And wow. I don't really like this, Pisces. I don't like this at all. Okay, there we go. So I think that at some point, you're going to move on. Because you're going to close out the cycle. Even if you don't want to. You are you were telling yourself, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to, I love this person. I'm going to nurture this connection. I'm going to be loyal. They, they're just hurt. They'll come back. Eventually, you're going to close the connection because you're watching them. You're seeing what they're doing. You're going to step into determination. You're going to maybe block them or cut them off energetically because you're going to get really hurt at what they're doing. So they're stressing you out, right? You were keeping hope that, no, we've got a really good foundation. They're just, you know, they're just playful. And then you start realizing, no, they're, they're hoeing around with the nine of wands, nine of wands. Whatever they're doing, they're definitely in the energy. They're enjoying themselves. They don't really care. 
They're not really showing any care for you. They're out living their best life. I'm not saying this is wrong, but I think it really hurts you because you're in full commitment towards this person. And they're not showing any commitment towards you. In fact, they may treat you as a friend. Like, they're, they're not... They're not stepping forward at all. So I think that eventually... Eventually you do step into, I'm just going to be single. And then you do release. It will, there may be a climax you're reaching with the full moon or the full moon may initiate all of this. Only you know exactly where you're at. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot happening here. I hope that um, this doesn't put you in, in too much of a state. And if you took some benefit from this, please make sure to drop an emoji down below as a comment or react to the video. And I will see you guys later, Pisces.